What's up everybody, we're here with another video about Amazon products, specifically this one from Luffy. Luffy, I believe, love your life, be in the Luffy moment, everybody. Let's become in the Luffy moment. We're gonna find out what that means. This is a flash drive, it's a storage drive. It comes in a tin, which is pretty unique. It's like uh, an Altoids tin. But let us I haven't actually opened this up, so let's check it out. This one's 128 gigabytes. And it's a foreign one, which means it connects four different ways. So the idea is you have all your devices, you have your laptop, you have your cell phone, maybe you have an Android phone or you have an iPhone. They all have different connections. How do you store things or transfer information from one device to another device? Well, this is your answer, or it could be anyway. Now, I personally like AirDrop a lot of the time, but sometimes there's huge files that I'm trying to transfer, like if I shot for several dozens of minutes or a couple hours on my phone, um, this might be a better option for transferring files. What's up everybody? This thing was wrapped in extremely hard to get off plastic, so I already did that. Here it is, the Altoids tin, be in the Luffy moment. So we're about to experience the Luffy moment. I am very, very excited. All right, we have a flash drive, a uh, quick start guide, which I guess with all the connections this thing has, you might wanna figure out how to use it. So I guess you have to use an app, I believe, to transfer files. So we'll see how well that works. I'm gonna download it and use it in a little bit. Ah, uh, this is a little thank you card. And behold, here it is. It's blue, 128 gigs. And then it comes with, a, I guess this is an adapter for USB-C. So it looks like you have your iPhone, oh, it goes both ways. iPhone connection, obviously, lightning. On this side, it looks like a USB, regular USB. Yeah, if you bend that down, then it's a micro USB for your Android devices or anything that has a micro USB. And then this is the USB-C connection, which I'm guessing connects here. At least I'm guessing it goes on this. Right off the bat, this is not really... Oh, there we go. Just gotta push hard. All right, so right off the bat, I was thinking that wasn't gonna work, but you just gotta push it on there hard. So now you got your USB-C. So it does say on the ad that it's USB 3, which means it should have pretty decent transfer speeds. It also advertises it as being a storage option as far as like increasing your storage availability on your phone. So when your phone is full, you can transfer files to this and store it on here. I personally would not use this as a long-term storage. I would just use it to transfer files from one place and to another. Whatever you're storing your important information on, your photos and your videos, you typically want to have a backup. Uh, it could just be something as simple as a cloud storage, a cloud backup, but you do want to have some redundancy there and just storing stuff on one drive that could easily be lost or it could be corrupted. For all I know, this product could go bad in a couple months and then there goes all of my files that I've saved on here. So I personally would just use this for transferring files. First things first, we're just gonna stick it into the computer and see if it even works. Right away, I'm noticing this slidey thing slides when you try to stick it in something. So it's not exactly, not exactly ideal design here. Oh, and it has, um, looks like it has some kind of instructions on the flash drive itself. User manual, so it's got a detailed manual here. So I'm just gonna do a little inception here and transfer the very footage from this video to the drive. This footage is 740 megabytes, so then I'm gonna see if I can access it from my phone. I'm gonna find the Love Share app and install it. Two stars out of five, hmm. Well, well, we'll see how well it works. The app actually tells my internal storage of my phone, and then I guess it'll tell the external storage of this device once I plug it in here. Contact backup and contact restro. Contact Restro, which I'm guessing is supposed to mean restore. And then in settings, there is show hidden file, modify file extension, turn touch ID and passcode on, and then some other thing. Time to switch it into sport mode. Again, it's sliding while I try to put it into the device. So you just have to kind of hold it. And now it tells me how much storage I have in external storage. And it gives me the files, including those uh, instruction manuals that were on it already. And then the file I just put on it, the video, let's see if it opens. Ah, yes, it does open. Cool. So now I want to see uh, how easy it is to just transfer it to my phone. So uh, I actually don't know how to do that. I'm sure the manual tells me how, but I'm going to figure it out right here. Let me try selecting it. 
this must be export. It says it copied it and then this popped up. So let me just uh, try saving video. And it wants to access my photos. Let's go to my photos and see if it worked. And here it is, it saved it. Cool, so that's pretty easy, simple enough. Seems like the app works well enough just to transfer a file. On the bottom here, there's an option to sort your files on the app. And then just additional ways to view over here. This plus down here is, looks like you can create different things and even take photos and videos right in the app. Cool, it saved it right on the external storage. Uh, I think it just froze when I tapped on photo. It looks like it glitched, but I just reopened it and looks like I can access my photos from my phone through the app. And I'm guessing I can select them to transfer. So if I pick one of these from the Museum of Dream Space, copy, okay, so I can copy it to my internal store. So you can copy photos from your phone to the Luffy through the app. Power Bank is some other product, I guess, that is also controlled by this app. Contacts, so you can back up contacts, okay. Contact restore, rest, rest, restro. So there's the contacts that I just backed up and it looks like I can restore them from the Luffy as well. So that's it with the app. It looks like it's pretty simple to copy from your phone to the Luffy and from the Luffy to the phone through this app. I don't know why it has so few stars on the app store, but it seems to work fine. There was a glitch, but I don't know, seems to work fine just from initial use. And here are all the files. We got the ones I just put on there from the Museum of Dream Space. Yes, that is me. Oh, this is the one I shot with the app, through the app, through the Love app. And then this is the video I already had that I transferred from the computer. This last folder here looks like it's the contact backup. All right, guys, what more can be said? It's a flash drive. It's got 128 gigabytes of storage. Obviously the unique thing about this one is it's got multiple jacks so that you can connect it to different kinds of ports. It's got the USB, micro USB, USB-C, and then the lightning connection. The app seemed to work fine. It glitched out on me once, uh, but it seemed pretty self-explanatory. It looked like it worked fine transferring files from my phone to the device and then from the device to the computer. I didn't use the USB-C, I didn't use the micro USB, but I'm guessing it's all gonna work the same. The only thing I don't like about the flash drive is the flash drive itself as far as the design. It's just kind of poorly designed as far as like how it slides. When I try to stick it into the port on my computer, it just slides down. So you kind of have to hold it. Same thing with my phone. Also at all times, one of the ends is sticking out and there's no lid or anything. It still works, it's a little bothersome. The other thing about these four in one flash drives is because they have a lot of moving parts, I am worried that some of them might break pretty soon. There's a hinge here when you're switching from full USB to micro USB. So I could see that potentially being a breaking point at some point in time. Again, this kind of flash drive is a little bit of a limited use for me. I'm not gonna be using this that much unless I'm shooting a large video on my cell phone that's maybe 30 minutes long and it would take forever to transfer through AirDrop. Sometimes AirDrop will stop working or my phone will turn off or my computer will die or something and then I'll have to redo it again. So I could see this being useful in those specific instances. But other than that, most of the time AirDrop works for me just fine. I have a Mac and I have my iPhone. This could also be useful though if you were transferring from your iPhone to like someone's Android phone or vice versa. Otherwise, like I said, I wouldn't use this as a separate storage device for like more permanent storage. I would just use this as a way to transfer files from one device to another. If you if you wanted to use this to store files on for a few days, a few weeks, or a couple years or whatever, fine, do it. Just realize that this is small. You have a pretty good risk of losing it. You don't know how long this thing is gonna last. It might become corrupt. It's just risky to store things on one device in general, much less something that's small and easily lost. But again, this is useful in certain situations and I'll definitely be keeping it in my video kit for when I do need to transfer files that are gonna be hard to transfer maybe through AirDrop. So let me know if you buy one of these. We found a deal for 50% off for this particular one. Uh, the link is in the description below, so check it out if you're interested in buying one of these. If you think that one of these are gonna be useful for you. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time on Half Price.